Now walking with the flow again, then I reach the rectifier rolls, which I explained it to you before. The rectifier rolls, of course, are very crucial in the design area. What does this mean? That fibers tend to flocculate by itself if you leave it non-agitated. And that's what we call it rectifier rolls. And it also has some instability ahead of these recti uh, rectifier rolls. We call it rectifier because it rectifies the flow. Again, the design is very, very crucial. It has an open area, whole size. Are you sure that the design is applicable to your criteria? Or maybe it was applicable in a certain uh, time and then you speed up, you increase the flow and so on. Are they really, the, you know, give you the same results? We do perform, papyrus perform these calculations. Rectifier rolls. Uh, dampen some of the instabilities and create some of their own. You need turbulence coming off the re these rectifier rolls. Not too long or not too short. If they are too long, they are going to dissipate on the wire and shows as streaks. If they are too short, well, fibers are going to flocculate back again and so on. So we do perform these calculations with exclusive computer programs and I'm claiming that nobody has it except papyrus from uh, the kind of flow rate, the temperature, the grades which you produce and so on. And uh, if there is any modification, that's the kind of things which papyrus do when I say no or minimum capital investment, no or minimum capital investment. A lot of cases the, sometimes they put the rectifier rolls wrong or maybe replace them by another design and so on and the problem have been uh, solved instead of changing the whole uh, head box. It is another case which papyrus of course perform. Well, when you look to these trailing sheets which I mentioned before, well, <laughs> there is no side glass here that you can see these uh, legs and sheets or the trailing sheets are suspended evenly. Are we sure? We are not, but it is subject to calculation based on the flow rate, the weight, and so on. If, for example, you have a situation, it is like this, well, you end up with, you know, no legs and sheets, and the flow just bypass them. If it is coming like that, again, we'll go, you know, uh, over them. And, of course, you also lose the pressure drop. Also, the velocity over here in these pipes can be a very source of problem. And these sheets can flutter up and down like that, can be uh, up and down, can be a source of short-term variation. And papyrus perform these calculations based on the weight of the sheets, if I know the width, the thickness, you know, and so on, and the flow rate, you know, these are uh, calculate the drag load and so on, and give you the right uh, design and the, the right calculation. Uh, here is another third part, of course, I did not put that in, um, in the head box area, but the forming board design, that's also one of the crucial area which Papyrus performed, the design of that forming uh, board, especially the ferris foil blade. You need almost a perfect match between the jet speed, between the jet widths, and the forming board area. If you have part of that jet is landing on the wire, it's no good. If it is uh, uh, larger than that, again, it's no good. Based on, again, the geometry and uh, the kind of calculation which I do perform and give you the proper design, the proper geometry and uh, the apron height and so on. And of course, here is, that's the breast roll area.